And today on Stitchless TV, we've got a very famous weather girl with us. <laughs> this is Wendy Horrell. Hello, Wendy. Nice to meet Hi. You. I'm Hi. Not terribly famous. <laughs> <laughs> So, have you sewn before? Do I you have, sew? Yes, I do a bit of sewing. It's very basic sewing. I That's do my okay. own hems and things. That's okay. but And who used to sew in your family? Uh, we, it, it runs through us. It was my mum and I've got my grandmother's um, sewing machine at the moment. So we've, we've all sort of picked it up and it's sort of filtered through the women of the family. Let's make you a new outfit. Should Let's we do, do that? that? Yeah. Okay. In this, we would take one of your t-shirts, uh -huh. use it basically as a template to cut around it, make it a bit longer, and it's a dress, a shift dress. Beautiful. I, think, I like I that. Think that's, it's, that's it's my favourite so, so far. You do the weather every day, is that right? Five days a week, yes. So that's five different outfits every week. It is, yes. Wow, so what do you do? How do you well, I cope do, with it? I know, it's really hard work. And if I'm doing early shifts, I, I set my outfit out the night before. Okay, good idea. Why do I do that on the school run? Exactly, Actually. you have to though, don't you? But I, I kind of tend to do sort of two week rotations of, of, of yeah, outfits. Yeah, you'll have to excuse the little helper we have in the corner. He's our, has our flatmate. Oh! <laughs> and what's your name? Excuse me, do you Ralph. sew? Ralph. Ralph, hello Ralph. Oh. Wendy, have you found one? Yeah, I reckon I have. What do you think of it? Is it quite loose? Loose fitting one. Yeah. Right. Okay, so what we'll do then, we'll lay it out. So mm -hmm. we're going to, I'll do it in a minute. We'll lay it out on the material. Yeah. And we'll basically just add extra seam allowance. Right, understood. All the way round. This is a great way of doing it because it means you can, anyone can do that. You don't have to buy anyone, yourself a pattern. Exactly. Anyone can do it. And you can do it with anything that will be, that is two dimensional when you lay it out. So the seam allowance is about half an inch and just go all the way down and then just off. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. You watch me. Make sure I'm doing it right. You'll so if I start there, there. I don't yeah. want to cut your t-shirt. <laughs> no, I'll try not to cut the, the yeah. hem off my own t-shirt, which yes. I still rather like. That's a good idea. <laughs> so now what I want you to do is you see how what we did on that side. I want you to do the same on this side, okay. but go to about there. She's doing really well. Wow, you're doing really, really well. So this is the moment now where we're going to be able to add a little bit extra onto Wendy's sleeve. Good moment. So this is a good moment, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to allow quite a lot extra, mm -hmm. knowing that I can take it in. Okay. So I'm going to start shaping the sleeve now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come round and start just going like that and heading all the way down. What I would recommend yeah. is folding it over okay. very carefully. So it all matches up like that. Yeah. So we folded it over now mm -hmm. and all you've got to do is just trace around yeah. the stuff that we've cut before. So okay. I'm going to leave you to do that. <laughs> so a small scoop yeah. like, make sure I'm cutting through one layer. You only cut through one layer. And then flip it over so that it's symmetrical. Oh, it's just so clever. <laughs> That's that. And then the only other thing that we need to prepare is a long strip of fabric that we will fold in half and then that's going to be our ribbing around the neck. Right. Thanks for getting the iron ready. Oh, you did right. that beautifully actually. Right. Did, is it on a medium setting? It's a medium setting because that, that okay. this all kind of is a bit won't it well oh, i don't know actually it's a good idea to test out your fabric first on the iron but we Before can you do whack this. the iron yes. in the middle of it and that's, that's the yeah. end of your hard work true very good <laughs> idea to do that first on a scrap of fabric but we're going to do it on the ribbing but i just want right. to talk to you about ribbing okay ribbing for me is anything that stretches so on the um on this we've cut it the stretch way because what we're going to do we're going to fold it over and we're gonna stretch it around the neck, which is a really easy way to finish off necks, hems, you can have all sorts of shapes. But first of all, we need to press it. So that's pressing. That's pressing, so let's have a look. Just so that you can see what happens, this is the ribbing. It's gonna go around the neck. And <laughs> lovely, excellent model, isn't she? And we're gonna stretch it as we apply it, and then we press it all back into shape again. So we're ready to sew now, you know. Oh, Yes. All we need is the sewing machine. Where's the sewing machine? I think Ralph had it. Now, actually, I wondered whether I could use my grandma's sewing machine. 
You can oh, help me get to know it better. That's probably quite a good idea. I know, heavy. I know it's a heavy machine. It's, it was like <laughs> built in the 80s, this one, I think. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is stitch up just one of the shoulder seams. Okay. So we've got to get right sides of the fabric together mm -hmm. and we're going to sew about a centimetre away from the edge. So mm -hmm. we get it underneath, get all our edges together like that and then we'll be ready to sew. On my foot. Here we go Wendy, are you ready? Yes. Yeah? Here okay. we go. Right. And where's Hold my it a bit there bit? as well. Okay, ready. One, one hand there. One yeah, hand this there. This to keep it together. That to keep it together. Oh, a lovely sewing machine. <laughs> Here's my first seam. It's that is so bad, really is good. What was your granny called? Nancy. Thank you, Granny Nancy. <laughs> She's the right way round. That way, I think. Okay, yeah. so that's going to be your shoulder there. That goes round there as a kind of, yeah. oh, sorry, boat yeah. neck thing. Mm -hmm. So now this is when we do the magic of finishing off the neck. I like a little bit running off, running off the shoulder seam. So I'll put mm -hmm. that there. We stretch mm -hmm. the ribbing mm -hmm. and no way, never the dress. Right. So I'm emphasizing it so that you just don't forget. Okay. So I'm stretching that ribbing yeah. just a little bit, just to get me round a few bends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, little stretch as I go, trying to stay equidistant from the edge. Little stretch. Mm -hmm. Is that like stretch like that? Yeah, just a little stretch, yeah. Very good. Okay. Wendy's done really well. She's coming to the end of the neckline now and she's been stretching it as she goes but not the dress. And now when you're at the end you're going to go backwards and then forwards just to close it off. Yeah. So you see how it's all sort of kind of looks like it's it's gathered a little bit. Mm -hmm. What happens is we stretch it mm -hmm. back into shape again and so it goes all smooth. That looks nice. It's very important that when you press the neck that you keep it in the shape the final uh -huh. shape that it's going to be. Yeah. Don't have it all out in a straight line, because right. then it will just stand up. So you've got to have it in its final okay. sort of shape. And then when you do, it comes out all nice and smooth Ooh, like that. Yeah. All we have to do now, Wendy, is stitch up the other shoulder seam. Well, okay. that's not all we have to do, but that's what we have to do at the <laughs> moment. So we'll quickly do that now. When we stitch up the shoulder seam, you see I haven't trimmed off these bits, mm. is because I have to align them first. Mm -hmm. and. I'm just going to cut it now, cut off those bits of ribbing mm -hmm. at the same angle as the actual shoulder seam. Okay. Because if I cut them before, they might have been cut at the wrong yeah. angle. So we, we get it under here. And here. Great. So we're just doing a little bit of stretch, Wendy, as you go. So this is on the second shoulder seam. So we've closed off the second shoulder seam now. Really good. And then when you get to the end, the uh, backwards and forwards bit again. So that's what, Ooh, which way round. Yeah. So that's what you've just done. Look at that. That looks really professional. It does, <laughs> though, doesn't it? Look how professional that is. Now what I'd say is I usually sort of mitre. It's got a kind of 60s feel about it, yeah. actually, especially looking at you with your hair and then it. I have to get myself behind. No, that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be really, really good. Here is the See? finished that this. Ooh, so brilliant. Is. So brilliant. <laughs> 60s, 80s. Do you know what I mean? Sort of 60s, 80s. It's fantastic. 60s, 80s. So I'm going to press not this. Not 70s then. No, not 70s. No. Cool 80s yeah. and cool 60s. Thank I'm going to press the hem and then Wendy's going to try it on. Are you going to try it on? Yes. Yes, and then Wendy's going to try it on. Come on, Wendy. Let's have a look. Wow, look at that! <laughs> wow. I can't believe we made it's that fantastic. in like a couple of hours. That's all it 